Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Wonders of Wings, our nicheling prequel tribe, where we are actually working on gathering up all of the genes needed for our Birds of Paradise challenge. And so far, our wonderful adventurous little nichelings have gone on many, many misadventures, and we have started to pull in a few very interesting genes, like the Gill genes, but we have not yet unlocked or found any of the genes related to our Birds of Paradise challenge that we are trying to prepare for. I am still searching the wonderless, like, far lands for the wing gene. I'm still looking for the bird beak, and we are still looking for the peacock tail, none of which that we have found so far. But uh, especially with the peacock tail, we need to go to an island that has a tree stump that we can do call for a wild animal attraction at. So I'm still looking for that, but hopefully we'll be able to make it to the next island in search of those things pretty soon. Just right now, everything has kind of slowed down as we begin to lose the last of our second generation of nichelings of this tribe, as Basia has come a very old advanced age, and she currently is crooning a lullaby to her newborn daughter, Jedala, with beautiful green eyes as they prepare to, to leave Basia behind, and she is singing her lullaby to her children that the entire tribe can hear, reminding them of the golden feather that their ancestors found, speaking of a mysterious winged nicheling that she is hoping they will continue their journey on to seek out. Ah, so it's a, it's a very hard moment because I'm about to lose Basia, but I'm hoping that it'll all work out. So we're going to have her son, Ataya, come over here to kind of just keep an eye on things. We'll have Basia scoot over. She and her mate Zenith are going to have one last child. They've only had one child together so far, too. And Zenith will, will stand guard. He's going to keep an eye on his daughter and his newborn. And then once they are old enough, the tribe will continue on in her honor down this stream and over to this bed of flowers where they are hoping at visiting a new land, they might be able to find what they are looking for. So I'm really, I'm going to miss Basia a lot. And I think it's kind of humbled the rest of the tribe to remind them that they are here for bigger journeys. So Tunri is going to carry forward as well, trying to guide the tribe to scooting on to new lands. Zaya is going to go ahead and I think he saw a tree. Yeah, he saw a tree nearby. So he's going to kind of veer this way uh, so that he can gather up some nuts so that they have energy to go to the new land. Lilypad is quite young and not really sure of herself, but she'll go ahead and try to help out with gathering some resources, as the tribe doesn't really want to move just yet since we are about to lose the lovely Basia. Meanwhile, Bila here will join her mate Zaya, and she and her son can show that they too know how to gather all of the nuts under this tree. So we'll gather a ton of nuts to kind of feed our tribe as we prepare to move to the new land. All right, and Basia, I'm gonna miss you, but thank you for singing the lullaby that reminds the tribe of the golden feather they must seek out. <sighs> and so now she is gone and she has left behind an adorable little child that we are gonna go ahead and we are going to name uh, let's go with Triva, which means the journey, which is one of the names that you guys have actually left with me in the Nishling name list. So Travia, we're going to say that his name means the journey and he's going to remind everyone of the journey they must take. So, all right, let's see what we can do about all this. Milala is probably, she feels better being away from the super dangerous area they ended up. Uh, and she probably is ready to have another child, so she's going to go ahead and try to woo her mate. But we definitely want to work, as Tunri is reminding everybody, on getting a little further along, please, before we all die of old age. Um, let's see, I and A immunity. Lilypad doesn't really have F and B. Hmm. A and C. Let's see. B and F. Hmm. B and C. Nope. F and C. Hmm. So Lilypad would actually be a good mate for what I'm pretty sure is her brother Zenith, uh, which is a little awkward, but we'll just have to remember that as well. Uh, but we'll have Lilypad come over to kind of help Tunri clear away the grasses and try to prepare so the tribe can move on. Pebble, I was trying to destroy that bush so we could gather a lot of resources from it, but it didn't work. 
Uh, all right, we'll destroy the nest so that we can go ahead and have the babies kind of join us pretty soon. Uh, and we'll say that Zenith destroying the nest also was like burying his mate's bones and whatnot. Uh, but we'll get the whole tribe moving now and hopefully off this island today would be ideal. So let's see if we can do it. All right, there we go. And we'll come over here. How many spots? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We currently have ten nichelings. We're about to lose Tunri to old age, though. So we can afford to have another baby if we really need to. But I'm going to think about that for a moment. All right, Pebble is going to gather up a little bit more food over here with his silly self. And then we're going to have Ataya, who is actually half-brother of these other nichelings, go ahead and kind of guide the babies uh, with him. So we'll have Jadia jump over to Lilypad, and we'll have Travia come over here. And then, yeah, Ataya, we'll leave him over here to kind of guard his brother. And Zenith is going to dive into the waters to see if he can see a clear path for everyone to take. And we'll have Lilypad come this way. <gasps> it's one of the... Yes! It is actually one of the tree stumps! There is a tree stump here! What? Oh my gosh! This is what we were looking for all along! It, it, normally, in the old version, you could just see these tree stumps scattered everywhere, but they're actually here? We may not have to leave this island immediately just yet then. Huh. All right, we're gonna have to give some thought about that. Um, I do think that Milala is a little bit sneaky because she does want to make sure that she has plenty of babies. So she, with her son, her eldest son already being so old, I feel like she would just go ahead and make a nest, even though the tribe is talking about moving along, because she is a new addition to the tribe and doesn't quite understand why they're taking this weird feather dream so seriously. But all right, we'll go ahead and see what kind of baby she has. A little girl with antlers! Oh, how cute! And she is all green with antlers, and she's got nimble fingers, digging paw, and she also has, ooh, recessive, recessive antenna. E and A immunity, which might be good for uh, E and A. Uh, Pebble! Pebble might finally have a mate, which would be kind of nice. But this is very exciting because I didn't think we had one of the trunks here, so I was totally focusing on going to other areas. But we may not need to right away. And, okay, we're gonna give this little girl the name. Let me see if I can pick a good name. I think some of these we've definitely used before because we've had literally hundreds of nichelings. Uh, so let's actually go with gosh i need more names because I, I i actually think we've used hundreds of names over the the like year and a half we've been doing this so when i glance at the niche name list i'm like no i remember having that nicheling i remember that one too uh all right we're gonna go ahead and this is going to be lai uh lai Leah, Leah, excuse me. So this is going to be little Leah, and she is the pride and joy of her mother Milala's eye. Uh, and Milala, I think, is kind of proud. She's like, yeah, so so I had another baby when we're trying to leave the island. What, what, what about it, huh? So she's a little bit proud about that. Uh, and we'll have Zenith come down, and he'll do a little bit of swimming to try to scout out some spots. We'll have Treva come over and start uh, hanging out with his sister. And Ataya is kind of watching over his half-siblings carefully. And Jada will come over to see what Lilypad is up to. And we're going to have her get up to something interesting in just a second here. All right. A little bit of food. A little bit of food. Gather up the nuts. Gather up the nuts. There we go. Kick the tree. Gather up more nuts. <laughs> there we go. Clear the grass. And I think we might be able to perch here for just a little bit longer. Because we're going to have Lilypad clear the area around her. And then, out of curiosity, she will be moved to sing at this new high spot that she has located. I really did not think that we would find a tree trunk. Because, uh, again, in the old version that I'm used to playing for a year, the tree trunks were obvious every single time you, like, walked around an island. They stood out. They weren't covered by grass. Uh, and if they were, I feel like you could see them. So, or, I, I mean, that's what I remember, which could be totally wrong. But now we're gonna we're gonna perform our very first mating call and we might be able to get the peacock tail unlocked for our birds of paradise challenge. So let's do it. Lily pad. I saw someone! I saw someone! Let's see what happens! Lily pad, you summoned somebody! I saw them flash by. 
Can we find anyone? <gasps> Hello? Oh my gosh, it's a female. And she's amazing. She's amazing! Look at her. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and she's gonna be named Kez. Uh, Kez and apparently that name means kindness and balance. But we use the mating call for the first time, which means that we are gonna be one step closer to the peacock tail. Yes, lily pad, that's so cool. She might actually use her call to attract the nichelings, not just for herself, but for the whole tribe. Because Kez here, uh, let's see. She's got ANC immunity. She has really bad fertility and bad hemophilia, but she has bird beak recessive. What? Oh my gosh. Okay, ANC immunity. She could be a mate for one of our males, possibly. B and F like Treva. She could possibly be a mate for one of our males, but this is so interesting. Okay, I think we're gonna shift plans. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna stay on this island and we're gonna use the call a few times and we're gonna try to gather at least a couple hundred food so that when we do leave the island, if we need to, we can just bolt. We can just run for it. We can go from island to island, searching out one that really seems like it's going to work well for us. But with abundant food and a good established tribe here and a lot of resources where we could send nichelings that we don't think we'd bring like with us to the next island, to like hang out on <laughs> we might be able to make this work just using the mating call and i love the idea that lily pad is going to use her voice to be able to attract nichelings to the tribe this is fantastic i am so excited about this actually so this is this is quite awesome all right well readjusting plans then all right, little Lyrie is going to come over and she's going to try to learn from her big brother how to actually gather up these nuts. And Zaya, I think, is going to be a little bit exasperated that his... Oh, oh, oh. A rogue male! Rogue male! Get him out of here! Get him out of here! Pebble, this is what Pebble lives for. Uh, he would be exasperated that Milala constantly seems to want to just like have babies when they were trying to leave the island. But the rogue male approaching may remind him why it is so important to make sure that the females are well protected. So that's terrible, terrible rogue male. Uh, but I'm so excited. This is really cool. Uh, Ataya, we'll have you go ahead and gather some things. <gasps> is that another new nicheling? What? What on earth? <laughs> Apparently, Kezi, Keza brought a friend who, like, was rabble hunting, I guess? And she's awesome and covered in spots. Oh my gosh, yeah, they both have poison fang. Um, so, uh, like, this one has cracker jaw, but she has poison fang recessive. So I feel like they're from the same place and they brought, uh, we're just gonna name her Issy because I really love it. I, okay, this is so cool. Apparently the mating call like is really powerful. I love this. Talk about all the drama it suddenly adds in. But yeah, I guess Kezi is like, all right, I'll introduce you to the two of us. Uh, wow, and she can show off her amazing like poison fangs there. Wow, yeah, this is gonna be really cool. <laughs> so yeah, re reassessing. We are not leaving very soon after all. F and C immunity, A and C. Uh, yeah, and unfortunately for Zenith, the best mate he still has is his sister, Lilypad, which is a little awkward. Uh, but alright, we'll have him kind of swim around with his gills. We're going to have Ataya, uh, take care of things. Jadal, Jade Lala will just continue to help clear things away too. I'm kind of amazed. We have two new nichelings, which means we need to be serious about gathering up food, which I think Zaya is kind of realizing. Uh, but let's do this. This is so cool. Oh my gosh, and now it's a rainy day. All right, and we have a rogue male on the premises and a newborn baby boy. So let's go ahead. We're getting kind of high up on the number of nichelings we have for the amount of food. So I think that uh, we'll name this little guy. We're gonna go, we're gonna go with Marka. There we go. So his name is gonna be Marka. He, he has very big ears. No, he just has medium ears. They just look huge on him as a child. Uh, and E and A immunity. And I think that even though Milala wants to have even more children, her mate would really put his foot down about now. Do we have the eye? Yeah, Effie has the eye immunity, thank goodness. But I feel like her mate would really kind of put his foot down a little bit. Like, Milala, we must make sure that the whole tribe can have enough to eat. And I, I, if we continue having children like this, I don't, it won't work. 
but Milala might be a little bit scared from this rogue male. So we'll attack him a few times. <laughs> Pebble is defending. Pebble is defending and trying to make sure that the tribe will be protected. Uh, Ethi might wait to do his attacks because he is learning that this is a dangerous male who has no respect for the tribe. And Issy, what can you do? Oh, she is short-sighted. So maybe she was following Kez because she could not see where they were going. But Kez is searching out delicious berries to eat. Are there any? Oh, there might be a few around them. Uh, so yeah, Kez was searching out delicious berries to eat when they heard Lilypad's beautiful song. So this is very exciting to have our very first new additions to the tribe. And I think Lilypad would welcome them in, uh, welcome them to the protection of the tribe. And Kez would immediately just like fall on all of the berries, super eager to eat them. Uh, oh, here comes that rogue male. And Ataya will come over and help to defend the tribe here. And Treva will help to defend from over here, making sure that awful rogue male can't get near his sister Jade Lala. And it's so cool. All right, and Lilypad will jump back up to kind of keep an eye on everything. All right, we'll gather up some food here. And Pebble's going to come over here ready for the attack. All right, if I can get him. I don't think that rogue male is going to come any closer, unfortunately. Okay, back off, buddy. All right, so we have some defensive maneuvers going on too. All right, this is pretty exciting. And Zenith, uh, I think we'll have him swim back up here. I think that he would really praise his sister, Lilypad, for her amazing abilities at singing and how she has possibly solved a problem the tribe has faced of how to find where all of those wings, wings happen to be. And hopefully her singing will attract a winged creature is what he will he will tell her. So we'll go ahead and give Lilypad. I think we'll give her like the big nose, but I kind of want that just because she can we can say it has something to do with her singing. And then I would also like to give her maybe uh let's see, what what body type does she have? Okay. She has claw and runners like I'm gonna give her nimble fingers as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and let them just become expectant for a child just because they're the only ones that we currently have who can breed. And there's that rogue male. Ugh. He doesn't have anything we want, does he? Not remotely. So we will definitely take care of him next thing. All right. And boom. There we go. Ataya, the traveler has just managed to take out that rogue male and protect the tribe. And what an adventure we are currently working on. So I am really impressed. I think this is going to be pretty awesome. I think now we will spend some time kind of settling the island just a little bit. Uh, and just we will have Lilypad sing and sing and sing and possibly train uh, young ones after her to sing as well. And we'll have to see what will happen when we do that and what it will invite into our tribe. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.